worship the Lord. How much more are we that we were saved by the blood of Jesus Christ? Amen. The dapat mas marami tayong ipagpasalaman sa Panginoon. The more that we must worship God more that we serve Him knowing that we were saved. We were sinners saved by grace. Amen. So, purihin ang Diyos at sa mga nanonood sa ating po mga kapatiran, wala bawal pa po ang senior citizen at mga young people. So, we just greet you and include you in our prayer and may you join us in worship at your homes at the convenience of your Wi-Fi, of your internet. So, we'd like to read this morning the scripture from Psalms 29 verse 2. Just one scripture and I believe it speaks a lot, amen, about serving the Lord. Let's read Psalms 29 verse 2. Sabi po rito mga kapatid, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto His name. Ibigay mo na ang karangalan na nararamat sa ating Panginoon sa Kanyang pangalan. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Sambahin natin siya sa kagandahan ng kabanalan. Amen. So we must live a life of holiness in order to worship the Lord properly. In order to be worthy, kailangan ipamuhay natin yung holiness. So tayo manalangin mga kapatid. Let's all pray. And uh, if any one of you have a prayer request, if you need a uh, uh, God in your life today, if you need help, Amen. Jesus is with you. Amen. He said, where two or three are gathered in His name, He is in our midst. So, manalangin tayo sa Kanya. Amang banal na bilang Diyos, O God, Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, Father, we come to You, Lord, with humble hearts once again, knowing, Lord, that we are just sinners saved by grace, and we have no righteousness of our own. Wala kami may pagmamalaki. Wala kami, Lord God, na dapat Lord, na ipagmayabaan sapagkat kami ay mga makasalanan na iniligtas lamang ng dugo ng iyong anak na si Christo. Lord, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for electing us before the foundation of the world that we should be uh, to your glory and honor and praise, Lord, that we may be able to worship you with all our heart as an appreciation of your love and kindness to us. Turuan po kami, Panginoon, sa umagang ito, kung paano mag-worship sa iyo ng tama. Nabigay, nabigay, Panginoon, na walang, walang pag-imbot, walang reservation, Lord God. Kundi, Lord God, buong puso, we don't care. Lord God, uh, kung ano man masasabi namin katabi, gusto namin, Lord, itaas ang namin kamay sa iyo. Bilang pasasalaman, Lord. Bilang, Lord God, pagsamba sa iyo at bilang pangalan. O Lord Jesus, once again, Father, may you feel our our souls with your gladness, Lord. Punuan mo ang aming mga kaluluwa ng iyong uh, kagalakan upang kami, Panginoon, ay makapagsamba sa iyo ng malaya, Lord God. Lord. We know, Lord God, that uh, uh, hindi pwedeng pigilan ng isang Kristiyano na sumamba sa iyo. Just like David said, our thirst is for you, Lord. Our soul is thirsting for your presence. And so, Lord, this morning, we want to talk about your word again. And help us, Lord Jesus, to fulfill our duty. Amen. As a believer, as a worshiper, teach us, Lord God, to worship in spirit and in truth. Amen. Po namin dalangin, Panginoon, pagpalain mo ang bawat isa. May you supply every day this morning. If there's any sick, heal them, Lord God. Amen. May your healing touch, Lord, uh, touch their very soul and body and spirit Amen. that they may be able to be delivered Amen. and healed this morning. Amen. For those who lack, Lord God, finances, Lacking food on their table, I believe you promise, Lord, to supply all our needs yes. according to your riches and glory. If we ask and have faith, Lord, this morning. Salamat, Panginoon. Muli, hilig namin ang iyong presensya. Muli mong na langisan ang iyong salita. Buksan mo ang aming mga kaisipan, ang aming mga tenga ng pagdini, ang aming puso na mabuksan kami sa revelation ng iyong salita. Ito po ang aming dalangin for your glory. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Sa mga nandito, you may be seated. Amen. So, we would like to speak about worshiping the Lord. Because we know that as Christians, amen, there's one thing that we ought to do always. Not just in church, not just in, in the services, but every day in our life. 
Worship must be a lifestyle. Amen. To worship Him is to thank the Lord, sing for Him, and uh, appreciate Him in everything. Ang ginagawa niya sa buhay mo, di ba? Don't you realize that even the, the beat of your heart, amen, the breath, uh, ang hangin na inyong uh, inihihinga ay tukoy galing sa Panginoon. There are a lot of things to thank God for. The Bible said, in everything, give thanks, for that's the will of God. Ano ba ang sabi ni Brother Branham? Let me go to you, question and answers, 1954. Sabi niya, the first place, ang unang bakagay na gagawin natin, if you want scripture, the people are supposed to come to the house of God for one purpose. Isang layunin pala kung bakit tayo napunta rito. What is that? That is to worship. God. Para sambahin ang ating Panginoon. Yes. To sing songs. Yes. Umawit sa Diyos. And to worship God. That's the way God expects it. So napunta pala tayo rito. Hindi lamang mag-occupy ng upuan. See? Sabi niya rito, we did not come to occupy a pew. See, so he doesn't expect, expect us to come into the house of God to talk about something else. Yeah. Or to talk about one another. Yeah. Hindi yung sarili natin ang pag-usapan natin. Or to talk about what we got to do through the week. O yung mga gagawin mo sa ngayong linggo. He expects us to come to worship Him. Amen. It's a house of worship. Amen. Say Amen. 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 Yes. See, everything should be done decently and order. So, sabi rito, kailangan nasa order. Walang kaguluhan, walang tatakbo-takbo ng mga pata, walang maiingay, walang nagsiselfon. See, everything is supposed to be right. There's supposed to be a message. So, kulang ang worship natin kung walang mensahe. Because that's the most important thing is the message. Yes. See, yung singing, it's only, it only sets the atmosphere for worship. But the real worship is when you say Amen to the Word of God. That you enjoy the promises of the Lord. Thank God, magbibigay po guys sa Diyos with all your heart because He's been good to you. And me. Amen. Ito pang sabi niya rito, hindi lamang tayo nakaupo rito sa church. We don't come to church just to occupy a pew. Hindi ka na rito para lang humupo dyan. We do not come to church just to hear a good sermon or a good music. Though they all have their place. Lahat sila may bahagi. Subalit ito palang pinaka-importante. But what we better do is come to church to check up Di ba nagpapacheck up kayo sa mga doktor? May sakit kayo. Dito, sabi ng prophet, check up with God and your soul salvation. Amen. Amen. Yung karamdaman ng kaluluwa, yun ang ating ipacheck up sa Diyos. Amen. See, for the day of redemption is here. Narito na ang araw ng ating katubusan. Are we right with God? Check out your own salvation. Sabi niya, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Sabi pa niya, the church had better be examining themselves by the word. So are we in line with the word? And sabi ni Jesus, if you love me, obey my commandments. If you worship me, don't just worship me with your lips. Yes. Worship me from your heart. Yes. With your life. Amen. Amen. Sa pamumuhay, sa ating mga gawa, it is time we took inventory and purity, of our purity rather, and loyalty and devotion. So yan pala ang pinunta natin dito. Hindi lamang magpakita sa pastor o sa kapwa, we are here to take inventory of our purity. Do we have right motive and objective? Are we loyal to the word? Are we devoted to God? See, so what is true worship? Ito po, ang true worship, my definition po, sabi rito, true worship is the constant inner praise to God. Panloob na pagpupuri mula sa puso mo, hindi lamang panlabas na pumapalakpak, pero wala naman sa loob yung kagalakan. Diba? See, express in prayer. So nananalangi ka, pinupuri mo ang Panginoon, that's a form of worship. In song, in singing, in psalms and hymns, in service, in living, and in giving. 
Amen. Yan ang sinabi sa 1 Corinthians 10.31. Ano man ang gawin mo? Whatever, whether, therefore, you eat or drink. Kahit sa pagkain, magpasalamat ka, Lord, na pinigyan mo ako ng pagkain sa araw na ito. May namatay para ako mabuhay. Namatay yung manok. Amen. Namatay yung baka. Namatay yung baboy. Kung kumakain kayo ng baboy, ng pork. See? So whatever you do, whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. Yan po ang sabi ni Apostol Pablo. Kaya mga kapatid, napaka-importante yung worship. Tingnan natin ang ilang Greek words dahil ito po ay pinanggalingan ng worship. Unang Greek word ng worship is proskonyo. Meaning, paying homage or pagbibigay gala. Pag nag-worship ka pala, nagbibigay gala ka sa Panginoon. Just like it says in 1 Corinthians 14.25, Falling down on his face, he will worship God. Pangalawang Greek word na maaari natin masungkungan ay ang sebasomai. The word sebasomai means to render religious honor o magbigay ka ng karangalan sa Diyos. Just like in Romans 1.25, sabi no, on worship and serve the Creator, not the creation who is blessed forever. Another Greek word na mababasa nyo sa uh, tinatawag nating uh, uh, translation is sebomai, meaning to revere or adore, igalang at sambahin ang Panginoon. In Acts 16.14, tinukoy ang babae si Lydia, sabi ko na, Lydia, a seller of purple of the city of Jatira, which worshiped God and heard us, pinakinggan niya si Pablo at mga apostol, si na Pedro, that she attended unto the things which were spoken of all. So, nakinig siya sa mensahe ni Pablo. So, ang pakikinig sa mensahe, it's a form of worship. Yes. Because you're expecting something from God. Amen. Na mula sa bibig ng preacher, ay ito'y magiging blessing sa iyo pag tinanggap mo. Amen. And you're saying amen to the amen. word. Amen. You're saying amen. You praise the Lord. So, be it. Hallelujah. Another definition of worship is Sabi dito, it's the act of showing reverence and adoration to a deity. De deity is God, amen, in a multiple form. Like, He became a man through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the deity of God in the fullness of the, in the flesh. So, by honoring Him through religious rites, sa lumang pipan, they build their altars. Remember, Isaac, Abraham, brought Isaac as a sacrifice, amen, and offering burnt sacrifices to praying and singing psalms and hymns. Yan ang ginagawa ng mga Kristiyano o mga mana ng palataya. Even in the Old Testament, they sung to God. Remember, the Israelites, when they crossed the promised land, even Miriam played the tambourine and they were singing in praise for God's deliverance. So ano ang mga dahilan kung bakit tayo sumunod Sumasamba sa Panginoon. In Ezra, mababasa natin dito, Ezra 3.11, it says, They sang together in the Old Testament by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because He is good all the time. Diba? Amen. Amen. For His mercy endureth forever toward Israel and you are the spiritual Israelite. Tayo ang spiritual na Israel ngayon. We are the holy priesthood. Amen. A holy nation. Sabi ng Bible, a peculiar people, a chosen generation. Amen. Ayan, this is a blessing for the Christians. And all the people shouted. So may sigaw sila, Hallelujah, praise the Lord. With a great shout. Amen. When they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. Nung nilagay ang putasyon ng templo ng Panginoon, nagpuri sila at nagsisigawan. Amen. Sapagkat may lugar na sila pagkadausan ng kanilang gawain. Amen. Amen. So the first worship was held in heaven. Ang unang pagsamba ay ginanap sa langit. Ang kuhang sinabi ni Brother Branham sa mensahe ng Easter Seal. Angels were created by God for worship. Sabi nito, but in order to be God, there had to be something to worship Him. So he created angels and beings and cherubims and so forth to worship him. His great plan began to unfold. So God cannot be God without worshippers. 
Because the very word God, if you look at look it up at the dictionary, God means an object of worship. Isang bagay na sinasamba. So walang sumasamba. How can God be God? So he had to create angels to worship him first. Then he played. He has a, a function as God. Kaya nga galit ang Diyos sa anong bagay na sinasamba ni Iban sa kanya. God hates idolatry. So he wants to be praised, to be to be worshipped alone. Amen. In him alone, sa kanila ang pangpuri at pagsamba. Sa mensaheng influences, sabi niya, they were created a special being and to stand in his presence, they have to cover their holy faces. See? Pati mukha nila, tinatakpa ng pakpak. Remember the cherubim, they have six wings. One to cover their, two to cover their faces, two to fly, and two cover their feet. Diba? And you have reverence, humility, and service to God. So, sabi niya, if angels has to cover their holy faces to stand there, what will we do to have to live in the presence of Almighty God? If we stay in His presence, we've got a covering. Kailangan magtakip din daw tayo. Ano ba yung covering natin? The blood of Jesus Christ. is the covering of the Lord. Amen. We are covered, made righteous, justified, sanctified because of the blood of Jesus Christ. And you have the boldness now. Sabi ni, ni, na, uh, ni Paul sa Hebrew, Come with boldness unto the throne of grace. Si bakit? Kasi mayroon na tayo katuwiran. Ang katuwiran natin, not our own righteousness, but it's the blood of Jesus Christ. He became sin that we may become righteous in the eyes of God. Remember, the second worship was placed in the Garden of Eden. Abel and Cain worship God. Si sabi rito sa Genesis 4, 4 and 5. And Abel, he also brought all the first links, first fruits, para types of his flock and the fact thereof, and the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Nalugod ang Diyos sa handog ni Cain, ame Abel, brother. Amen. Because it was blood by revelation. He knew that it was blood that will pacify the wrath of God. Amen. But Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrong, and his countenance fell. What did Cain offer? Flowers and fruits, beauty in the eyes of God, thinking that God would be pleased with that kind of offering. Hindi po natuwa ang Diyos sa ganda. Ang kailangan niya ay dugo na mag, maging kapalit, masamyong amoy sa kanyang uh, ilong, sabi ng Bible. See? So, Cain's offering was rejected. But the point here is that even the righteous and the unrighteous, they all worship God. Yeah. Right. May mga pagsamba na hindi tinatanggap ang Diyos. Yeah. See? The worship of the Pharisees, sabi niya, in vain you worship me. Mm -hmm. Teaching for doctrine, the commandments of man. Mm -hmm. See? Pagka wala sa salita ng Diyos, ang pamamaraan ng pagsambahan, hindi niya tinatanggap. Maging yung mga babae na may isinambo, sabi roon, yan ang covering mo. Kailangan, pag nag-pray ka, hey Lord, you must have a covering. And your long hair is your glory and it is given for you as a covering. Yeah. Hindi ka maririnig ni Lord kung bad hair ka, kapatid. You have to follow according to the Bible yeah. approach. Amen. So what is the sign of a true worshiper? Mababasa po yan sa John chapter 4, 23, 24 na tayo ay sumasamba sa Espiritu at katotohanan. Hindi lang ang Espiritu. Maraming nagsasamba sa Espiritu pero wala sa katotohanan. It takes these two to be a true worshiper. Verse 23 But the hour coming now is when the true worshiper shall worship the Father in what? In spirit and in truth. Amen. What is the truth of the day? The message. Yes. Kailangan na sa message ka para patanggap-tanggap ang worship mo sa Panginoon. And kailangan may halong spirit uh, uh, worship. Ibig sabihin, hindi lang ang 
pagbibig, kumanta ka lang, palakpak, na nakasimangot, kaya na nasa spirit of worship na rin. Mga kapatid. Amen. Because you enjoy the truth, you have been enlightened. That's why you can worship freely. Amen. Because God has opened your eyes to the true worship of the Father. For the Father seeketh us to worship Him. God is a spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. Hindi mo na kailangan ribulto para sumamba. God is a spirit. Kapatid, sabi ng Bible, ang pagsamba natin ay sa spiritual at katotohan. Amen. Dagdag galing ang Diyos sa mga imahen. Sabi, huwag kayong gagawa ng mga imahen ng inanyuhan ng bato o kahoy gaya ng mga uh, mga nilalang sa lupa. See? Dahil sabi niya, ako ay magpahibuguin Diyos. Glory to God. So, how can you worship God in the Spirit? You need the Holy Spirit baptism. Yan kung sabi ni Brother Brown nandito sa exposition of the seven church ages. Sabi niya, without the baptism of the Holy Ghost, you can never have your eyes open to a true spiritual revelation of the Word. A man without the Spirit is blind to God and to His truth. So kahit anong samba mo pala, kung wala kang Holy Ghost, you cannot truly worship God. Alam niyo sabi ng prophet, hindi na ikaw na worship Pag ikaw ay baptized ng Holy Ghost, He's the Holy Ghost Himself. Yeah. Amen. In you, saying Amen to His own word. Yeah. Ako ang nagsulat yan, Amen ako dyan. Hindi yeah. ginagamit na lang yung bibig mo. Yeah. Ganun po mga kapatid, we have to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And we know how to have the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38, di ba? Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, every one of you. For what? For the remission of sin. And then what? And then you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For this promise is unto you and your children's children, to them that's a part of even as many as the Lord our God shall come. See, kaya po yung pula kailangan natin gawin. Magkaroon muna tayo ng Holy Spirit. Mahirap sa tao, hindi led ng Holy Spirit na magpuri sa Diyos. Yung kamay mo nga, hindi mo may taas kasi sabi ng prophet, may gravity. Talaga, the law of gravity. Hihilain ka na. Pero pag may Holy Spirit ka, kaya mo taas yan. Holy Spirit. Para magpuri. Glory to God. Let's look at the mechanics of worship. Ano ba yung mga mechanics? Just like a car. A car has wheels, has upholstery, lahat yan, mechanics yan. Pero ang dynamics, yung nagpapatakbo, yung gasolina, yung spark plug, yun ang dynamic. So let's talk about the basic mechanics of worship. Amen. Sabi ng Biblia, si David o si Solomon ay nagpuri at sumamba sa Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pagluhod at pagtaas ng kamay. Mababasa po yan sa 1 Kings 8.54. And it was so that when Solomon had made an end of praying, and his prayer and supplication unto the Lord, he arose from before the altar of the Lord, from kneeling on his knees, with his hands spread up to heaven. So, sino ba ang nananalangit na pupuri dito na nakaluhod at nagtatas ng kamay? Praise God. God bless you mga kapatid. Tama po yan. Amen. That's a right form of worship, pagsamba. Amen. Pero hindi naman masama yung nakatayo ka o nakadapakat. So, is as long as your heart is right, amen, tatanggapin ang Panginoon yan. See, so, isa sa pamamaraan ay ang pagluhod at pagtaas ng kamay. Pangalawa, ang bilis na lang ito, pamamaginan ng pagpupuri, pag-awit ng mga spiritual songs. Ayan. Ephesians 5.19, ang sabi, speaking to yourself, speaking, alam niyo ang kanta, mga words yan na nilagyan ng ng tono. Para ka lang nagsasalita, pero may tono. Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Hindi worldly songs, ha? Right. Spiritual songs. Right. Hindi rock and roll. Singing and making melody to your heart in or rather to the Lord. Amen. So yun po pala ang isang Marapat na pamamaraan para tayo makapagpuri, kumawin yes. tayo ng spiritual song.
May mga songbooks tayo. Amen. Napakaganda ng mga hymnals dyan. They were composed by Christians of old. At napakaganda ng mga lyrics. Minsan nakakalimutan natin at na, na-attract tayo sa mga bagong Christian songs uh, by, by uh, mga secular Christians. But let's go back to the basics na yung mga kanta na kagaya ng uh, I Surrender All, di ba? Uh, yung Amazing Grace. Amen. So all these things are pleasing to the Lord. Pangatlong pamamaraan o dahil o mechanics is by clapping our hands in worship. Psalms 47, 1. Oh, clap your hands. All ye people shout unto God with a voice of triumph. See, hindi pala masama ang pumalakpak at sumigaw ng hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes. Yan pala yung katanggap-tanggap sa Panginoon. Sa so, 1 Timothy, ganun din ang sinabi. Verse 2 and 8. I will therefore that men pray everywhere. Kahit saan pa, hindi ka manalangin din lang sa church. Lifting up holy hands. Amen. Yep. Without wrath and doubting. Yes. So, makikita natin mga kapatid, yung pala ang bigay na bigay na pagpupuri sa Allah. Hindi lang sa isip na pray uh-huh. Kundi, buhang bibig mo ang prayer. Amen. Speak the yeah. word. Spoke the word. Don't think the word. Wala nang puri. Nasabihin mo kay Lord, diba? Parang sa nangiligaw yan, kung sa isip mo lang, hindi malalaman. Sabihin mo, I love you. Praise God. Huwag kang torpe. Kung talagang mahal mo ang babae, diba? Pag-pray mo, huwag siya nga ba? Di, kailangan maglakas ng loob ka. Ganoon din sa Panginoon. Lord, sabihin mo, Lord, mahal kita, Panginoon. Ganoon yeah. yeah. po yung kanya. Ang pagkakuli sa ating Diyos na Diyos. Glory to Jesus. Pangapat. Ayan, meron din palang dancing in the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Sinabi ito sa Biblia na si David, sumayaw siya sa kagalakan. Nung yung Ark of the Covenant, dinadala na doon sa, sa kanyang na palasyo. 2 Samuel 6.16 And as the ark of the Lord came into the city of David, Michal, ito yung asawa niya na pinagtawanan si David, kaya nga uh, sinerin, hindi mo lahat. Saul's daughter looked through a window and saw King David leaping and dancing to the Lord. Wow. Praise God. Pagkalong-talong pa. At sumasayaw. Kaya huwag natin i-condemn yung mga kapatiran natin na sumasayaw. If you go to Africa, makikita mo talagang ang mga sayawan doon ng mga brothers talagang walang pakialam. Amen. Eh, may basta po sa asamba sa Panginoong. I will express my joy and my, and my appreciation for the Lord of God. Amen. So, sa so first Samuel, ganun din sa dito, sinawag ni Lord si David na a man after my own heart. See, sabi rito, the Lord has sought him a man after his own heart. Si David, isang tao na ang puso niya ay kagaya sa Diyos. Amen. Kahit siya nahulog, though he fell in adultery, but God restored him. Amen. So kung anak ka ng Diyos, pag nahulog ka sa kasalanan, one day God will restore you. Amen. Amen. Di ba payag ang Diyos na hindi ka makabalik? Yes, Amen. Lord. Pwede paluhin ka niya, madalhan ka ng sakit, mawalan ka ng mahal sa buhay, gagawa siya ng paraan para lang makabalik niya sa kanya. Amen. 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 He's suffering. Glory to God. Amen. What else? Sa Psalms, mababasa din natin. 149 verse 3. Let them praise His name in the dance. Hindi modern dance. Hindi cha-cha o works. Hindi ganun. Yung pag, pagpuri sa Panginoon na may paggalang sa Diyos. Hindi yung sumisirs-kusirko ka na dyan sa Allah. So, sabi dito, Let them sing praises unto Him with a timbrel and harp. Instruments, we mentioned. 140, 154, 6. Praise Him with a timbrel and dance. Praise Him with string instruments. And our God. Uh, string instruments. Guitar, yung piano, string instrument. Yan eh. See? And then, our God, and then praise Him upon the loud cymbals. Ayan, yung iba ayaw ng drums at church. So, I believe ko, cymbals. Ayan, no? Praise Him up upon the high sounding cymbals. Let Him let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. Ano yung alam mo buhay na hina ay magpuri sa Panginoon. Amen. Yan yung sinasabi ng Bible. Kung tayong mahiya, yung ibang at sa 
basketball, di ba? Pag narasyot ang bola ng paborito nilang team sa NBA, palakpakan ang tatalunan pa doon sa gymnasium. Di ba? Yung sa sabungan. Punta kayo sa sabungan. Low projects at kung ano-ano. At kahihiyawan ng mga tao pag yung manok na paborito nila ay napatay yung, yung kaaway nito. So yung, yung kalaman siya. So, napakababaw niyan mga kapatid. Dito tayo sa malalim. Magbuhin ka. Mag Sumigaw ka. Dito tayo magbigay ng kagalakan sa pagkakaroon. Lord, glory to Jesus. Number five, worship with joy and thanksgiving in your heart. Ito po ang sinabi sa Colossus, tres Jesus sa Kays. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Una, ang salita ng Diyos kailangan manahan sa puso mo. That's the reason why you're rejoicing. Teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. May biyaya sa puso. Umaawit tayo. Amen. Pag umaawit tayo, hindi yung pagandahan ng boses sa mga kapatid. Kasi may mga singer na na sa church kakanta pero hindi nakatingin kay Lord, nakatingin sa mga nanonood sa kanya. Yeah. Sa mga tagahangan niya. Hindi po ganun. Umaawit tayo para sa Panginoon. Maganda man ang boses mo. Hindi. Mas ganun sa puso. Ang pag-aawit sa kanya. Katanggap-tanggap sa Diyos. Amen. Hallelujah. Ang problema madalas ngayon ay kakulangan sa kagalakan. The problem is the lack of joy in worship. See, many churches have adopted an unbiblical worship style by creating a dull, somber atmosphere devoid of any emotion. Wala man lang emotion yung pagkanta. Amazing grace, how feel. So, kailangan po, meron tayong feeling and emotion. Namnamin mo yung lyrics. Amen! Amen! Kung nabayin mo, Amen! Hindi yung gusto mo lang yung tono. Hinanta ko to kasi ang ganda ng tono, tono nito, yung melody. Ano ba yung mensahe ng kanta? Hindi ko alam. See? Kaya nga po, meron tayong feeling and expression. Many are in attendance and believing that they have done their duty to God by enduring an hour of dry, dry orthodoxy once a week. But where were their hearts? Saan ba yung puso nila? Nakatukon. They may call it worship, but it is far from it being worship. Ano yung sabihin mo, sumamba ka na sa Panginoon, pero yan po ay hindi po totoong pagsamba. Sinabi po yan sa Isaiah. Okay, ito ang tunay na dynamics. Well, let's move on to the dynamics of worship na. Which is the real expression, not just the the uh, emo the, the motions or the external uh Showing of worship, but God sees the heart. See, not just your singing or raising of hand. Isaiah 29, 13. Sabi nga rito, Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as these people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but they have removed their heart from me. Malayo ang puso nila sa akin. Pero yung bibig nila, ako ang pinupuri nila, ako ang, ang pinangangaral nila. See? And their fear toward me is taught by the precept of man. You know that the Bible said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Pero yung fear daw na ito ng tao ay tinuturo sa pamagitan ng mga credo o dogma. Precept of man, hindi na word of God. So kailangan huwag yung sa tao ang uh, pamamaraan ng ating pag-worship. Yes. It has to be from the heart. Believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. Yung po ang sabi ng Biblia that Jesus Christ, Amen, rose from the dead and you shall be saved. Amen. So, worship and service go hand in hand. Ibig sabihin mga kapatid, marunong ka mag-worship pero hindi ka naman nagliligod sa Diyos. So, paano tayo maglilingkod sa Panginoon? Unang-una, sa pagsunod. 
worship of God should propel us into greater obedience. Sundin mo ang salita ng Diyos. Ipamuhay mo. Be ye doers of the word, not just hearers only. In John 14, 15, sinabi ni Lord, di ba? Those who love me must keep my commandments. See? How can you show your love to Christ by worshiping Him but disobeying His commandments? So kasama ng worship yung pagtupad sa mga salita ng Diyos. See, sinasabi mo worship ka, pero ang paglabas mo, iba naman ang pamumuhay mo. Diba? So, bali wala. See? If we say we love and worship Him, but do not obey Him, our worship is worthless. Our worship is in vain. So, kaya ka nag-worship dahil na-enjoy mo siya sa buhay mo. Na ipapamuhay mo ang kanyang salita. Amen. Romans 12, ito yung tunay na worship, mga kapatid. Offer your life as a living sacrifice. Amen. So, tingnan natin, basahin natin. Sabi ni Pablo sa Roma 12, I beseech you therefore, pinapamanhitan ko sa inyo, mga kapatiran, by the mercies of God sa kahabangin ng Diyos, that you present your bodies. Kasama sa worship ang ating katawan bilang buhay na hando o kaloob. Your body is as a living sacrifice. So when you worship God, kasama yung kabanalan ng buhay mo, holy, be acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Worship goes with reasonable service. Yes, amen. Amen. Hindi mo pwede sabihin, we don't worship kita, Panginoon, pero hindi ka naman namumuhay ng holy. Hindi ka naman namumuhay ng um malinis sa harapan ng Panginoon. So, kaya sabi pa rin sa pangalawa, verse 2, and be not conformed to this world. So, do not conform to the things of the world. See, sa mga usong damit na may iksi, mga tato, o ano pa man, mga pagkulay ng buhok na yan. Si sabi rin, don't be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Una pala yung mabagong pag-iisip mo na tumalikod ka sa kasalanan at tumakad ka ng may kamanalan. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind that He may prove, mapatunayan mo ang ano, ang mabuti. Prove that what is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So yan mga kapatid, ang nais ng Panginoon. Kakibat ng pagsamba ang pamumuhay na manan. Pamumuhay na katanggap-tanggap sa dal sa kalooban ng Diyos. Why? Anong nangyari? Worship is not just singing or clapping. God wants your life at the altar. Yung buhay mo. Di ba may kanta niyan? Lord, make me a living sacrifice. Yes. Diba? Yung buhay natin ang kailangan ni Lord. Tingnan niyo yung paghahandog sa Old Testament. I mentioned a while ago, Abraham and Isaac. What kind of worship or sacrifice did God want? God asked Abraham to offer Isaac on the altar with his knife and firewood. So, kailan mamatay tayo sa ating mga sarili upang maging buhay ang Diyos sa ating mga katawan. So, it's showing that we must die to ourselves. Inaawit ko yun, Lord, let me die. To my intellectual knowledge, to my own abilities, yes. let me die to my own righteousness. See, and I offer myself to you, just as I am, just as you are. Amen. Lumapit tayo sa Panginoon. Tingnan yung Panginoon, Jesus Christo. He was the Lamb slain for you and me. He was offered as a sacrifice to God. Jesus Christ was the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. So siya mismo naging example natin na siya ay namatay pero muli siyang nabuhay. In, in Christianity, there's a resurrection. You become a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new when you, you are born again. Di ba sabi ni Lord, except a man be born again? You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So that's the basics. 
That's the first doctrine of Jesus Christ. New birth. Kaya kailangan natin dumaan, mga kapatid. Surrender your life to the Lord and live a life of holiness. Yan po ang hinihiling ng Panginoon. Kasi, faith without work is dead. Sabi natin, may faith tayo, pero kung wala tayong gawa, patay po yan. Si at ayaw ng Diyos na kung saan-saan tayo pumupunta pag ito. Gusto ng Diyos na nandiging tayo sa gawain. Si forsake na the assembly. Hey, Amen. I know na ngayon hindi pa tayo full 100% allowed by the government. But basically, ang linggo ay para sa Panginoon. See, because we worship on Sundays because Sunday is the day of His resurrection. Sunday is the first week or first day of the week. Tama? At doon siya muling na buhay. See? Kaya, sabi ng Panginoon, ako lang ang inyong sasambahin. Ito. Malapit na tayo magtapo. Sabi niya rito, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3. But thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down to them. Huwag kayong luluhod sa kanila nor serve them. For I the Lord thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. So in the Old Testament, idolatry was very literal. Worshipping images, worshipping, you know, Dan and Ephraim were removed you know, from the tribe of Israel because of idolatry. Tingnan nyo doon sa 144,000. Revelation chapter 7. Wala ang pangalan ni Dan at ni Ephraim doon. So makikita natin mga kapatid na they, according to the Bible that they were, praise God, they, they committed uh, idolatry. And today, mga kapatid, what is modern day idolatry? Hindi na yung sumasamba ka lang sa ribulto. Ito ang sabi ni Prophet, we may not think that we are idol worshippers, but we are. Dati tayo yung mga mananaman ng Diyos Diyos. Ano ba yung mga idol natin? The government endorses it. People today are idol worshippers because they worship idols. Diba? Si Lodi. Ayan, sabi ng iba. Some of them worship movie stars. Ayan. Yung idolatry ngayon, mga artista na. Mga sikat na mga, siguro, Korean telenovela, sketch, TV, television stars as idol. But all you put before God is an idol. Some worship money. Or right. idols. Hindi na nag-church pag linggo. Kasi may pera doble ang sweldo. Yeah. Uh -huh. But all that you put before God is an idol. Let it be whatever it may be. Uh -huh. Kung yung asawa mo, ayaw ka pagsimbahin pag linggo, idol mo yung asawa mo. Pag yung kotse mo, yun na lang ang lagi mong uh, pinupo sa Facebook. Ang ganda ng, ng kotse ko at uh, pinagmamalaki mo. At pag linggo, nandun ka sa mall, wala ka sa church, para lang na uh, maibiyahe mo. See, anything can become an idol. Yeah. Lahat ng hadlang, lahat ng mas priority mo kaysa sa Diyos, yeah. idolatry yun kapag yeah. Yeah. Kaya huwag tayo magpasakot sa namang bagay na idolatry. Pagpunta sa picnic, pag linggo, pwede mo naman gawin lonis ang yung sabado, nandun ka sa dagat. Bakit <laughs> linggo pa yung pinili? Uh, 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 <laughs> Di ba? Praise God, mga kapatid. So, put God first. Sabi ng Panginoon, I hate idolatry. Amen. So, ito ang solid warning ni Brother Branham dito. Amen. Sana ay tayo matutong humingi ng tawa. Yes. Magbago tayo, mga kapatid. Amen. Brother Branham said, Let me warn you this morning. Straight is the gate 1959. Church, be careful. Mag-ingat daw tayo. It takes time today in our self-righteous and self-sufficient generation of hypocrisy. Karamihan daw. Hypocrisy na lang. Pumupunta sa church, pakita na lang. See? An hour that when men and women stand in the churches, 
mga kalalaki at mga kababayan, dumadalo sa buhay in the pews na kaupo and sing the anthems of God, umaawit pa ng mga papuri sa Diyos and walk out of the church and smoke cigarette. Paglabas ng church, sigarilyo and drink whiskey naglalasing and go to dances. Iyon mga worldly dances na yan. See? Mga disco. Kung ano pa. And live for the world. And tell dirty, smutty jokes. Puro mga green jokes ang, ang laging labas sa bibig. And call themselves Christians. Sabi niya, see? Sabi niya, let me warn you na nawa huwag kayo maging ganito. Na paglinggo, nasa church, pero paglabas, namumuhay makamundo. Makasanlibutan. Amen. Tuloy natin sa minsaheng the falling away or the falling apart of the world. Sabi niya, they want to wear shorts. Ako, delikado yan. Mga babae, naka-short kayo sa kalsada. Sabi na, ni Jesus, sino mang tumingin sa inyo na may pagnanasa ay nag-commit na ng adultery sa kanyang puso. See why? Because you presented yourself that way. Adultery takes two. Mananagot ka sister ng adultery kahit hindi ikaw yung nagnasa kasi ang adultery hindi naman pwede isa lang ang gumawa eh. Dalawa. You presented yourself. They want to bob their hair. Bob. Ang putol ng buhok para mga lalaki. Or they want to do these things. They can smoke cigarettes. Practice social drinking. That's practices in the churches. See, sa iglesia, makikita mo yung mga ministro niya, papahinga mo na, break time ako mag-preach. Sigarilyo muna tayo sa labas. See, just modern drinking. Just teach your children to drink. But not too much. Tinuturo ang parang ng pastor. Pwede kayong minong, pero huwag lang sobrang okay lang. Not to be excessive. We need smoke, but not to the excessive. Wear anything you want. Pwede kayong magsuot na kahit ano. Yan na raw nangyari na compromise na. Laodicea. Naked, blind, miserable, wretched, and don't know it. See? But just try to keep yourself as decent as you know how or you can. Oh, see? Oh, that hypocrisy. Sabi ng problem. That anointed devil. That thing called denomination. Pinuturo na kasi sa denomination. Tama. Pwede ka na kung sumagsot na kahit ano, basta nang bubigay ka lang ng tithes. Bubigay ka ng offering. Okay na yan, mga make-up, mga kapal, hikaw, mga naka-spaghetti, naka-chub, kung ano pa. See? Sabi rito ng prophet, back to Christ. Bumalik tayo kay Cristo at sa kanyang salita. Save yourself from this and our generation. Repent, every one of you, before it's too late to repent. Jesus is coming soon. At ano ba babalik ka niya? Virgin to the world. Ibig sabihin ng virgin, malinis, pure, holy, unblameable. Amen. Yung po, di ba? There are ten virgins, five were foolish, five were wise. They had oil in their lamp. They went in a rapture. But the foolish virgins were left behind. They were wailing, weeping, and gnashing their teeth. Kasi naiwan sila. See, in, in the Bible, yung virgins, mga kapatid, Pure, holy. You can be, you can be justified and sanctified, but don't have the Holy Spirit. We know there's three stages of grace. See, the foolish virgins were justified or sanctified. Ma Christian din yan. Pero walang bautismo ng langis ng Espiritu Santo. What is that baptism? The message of the hour. Because only the message of the hour will bring the true baptism of the Holy Spirit. May nagtanong kay Brother Branham, what is the true baptism of the Holy Spirit? It is when the believer receives the message that was sent in the age that they were living in. To believe the messenger, to believe the message that he brought to you, and that, that will make you born again in the message of the hour. Amen. Kaya mga kapatid, magtagapos tayo sa so, sinabi rin ni Brother Branham na merong bride na spotless without wrinkle na madadat na siya. The true worshipers. Amen. Sabi niya rito, a real true worship. A genuine heart where he can pour down his, make his word live in this day. He will have it. Makakanta ni Lord yan 
ang mga totoong mananampalataya niya. Kunti-kunti lang, di ba? Sabi ng Bible, few there be. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way that leadeth to life. But few there will be that find it. Broad is the gate and wide is the way that leadeth to destruction. Di ba? So, kaya sabi niya rito, makamamta ni Jesus yan. Yung mga totoong believers with genuine heart, with a true worship, and His Word is living in them. He said He would restore the faith of the people back to the fathers. He will send Malachi 4. Pinadala niya si Elijah. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. For what? To restore, to turn our hearts back to the Pentecostal family. Yes. To the apostolic yes. doctrine. And the apostolic doctrine will make you live holy. Yung mga kristyano sa book of Acts, may nakita ba kayong mga babae na kapantalon doon? Mga nakamake up? Wala. Yan ang original, mga kapatid. Yung mga babae doon, mahaba ang kami, mahaba ang buho. See? Back to the Bible. See? Malakai Ford tells us, it will come and it will be there. Don't you worry. We don't worry. Kami ng mga pastor, hindi nag-worry. Kasi meron talaga yung kinaubukulan yan. Si ang true believer, hindi mo na kailangan na uh, palaging palalahanan sila mismo kusang loob, voluntary, na namumuhay sila ngayon ah, sa salita ng Diyos. See, don't you worry, it will be right there. Madadap na ni Lord yung bride niya talaga. Yes. Amen. Meron talaga siyang uh, pili-pili the bride na uh, itinatangin niya. Amen. The bride, sabi ng Bible, will be spotless, brilliant, brilliantness. The Bible said, let us be glad and rejoice for the marriage of the Lamb is come and His wife, wife na nga tao, hindi na bride. Eh. His wife kasi, amen, na pregnant na ng word. Amen. Tinanggap na niya yung message. Amen. Though His wife had made herself ready. That's, re that's Revelation 19 verse 7. So God has done said so. So that's all the clock is ticking right on. Yes. Yung orasan daw ng Diyos ay malapit na. Ito ay malapit na matapos. We are living in the end time and I believe the true worshippers will continue to serve the Lord. Are you a true worshipper? Amen. 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 Magsisi tayo kung tayo man ay tinamaan sa salita ng Diyos. Amen. Ang tunay na ang lakak ng Diyos, hindi nang tatampo. Kung ilalang ang papasalaman. Lord, salamat. Kinalalahanan mo. Amen. Amen. True love is corrected. Amen. Amen. So mga brothers, alis, iwasan na natin ang mga bisyo, sigarilyo, alak, droga, inom, at kung ano pa man yan, pagbababay. Panduloko ng kapwa So let us Make our path straight Mga kapatid Tumayo tayong lahat At purihin natin siya Amen Thank you Lord For teaching us How to worship Amen Salamatan natin siya Na sana ay Masumpungan niya tayo May God Amen Find the grace Give us the grace and mercy To be able to be Worthy of His calling. So tayo po ay mawit, magpuri tayo. Let's worship the Lord without reservation. Amen.